can wrestling actually help your level of conditioning as you kind of jump back into football? Oh yeah, it definitely, it definitely did. During during wrestling season, I think I was in uh, some of the best shape I've been in uh, in my life, and so yeah, it's definitely helped uh, conditioning wise. What's your weight today? Um, I was like two ninety five this morning or something like that. What is it about wrestling training that puts you in the best condition? Um, it's just, it's a little different than football. It's um, more, um, it's like you go, you hop on the bike, you'll be on the bike for 50 minutes rather than doing um, 15 get-offs or 15 different sprint type things. It's it's more of um, building the conditioning for the long term rather than a 10 second burst, 30 second break. It's you're out on the mat for seven minutes, um, giving full effort for like seven minutes straight basically. So it's just a little different. Do you think you might be able to sneak into some individual drills last week before Coach Rule noticed? What was that? Did you think you were going to sneak into some individual drills last week before he noticed and pulled you out? Or did you not know what his, uh, what his plan for you um, was? I wasn't, I wasn't exactly sure what the plan was, so I was just went out and just started started practicing like like it was normal. So How, how do you... How do you respond to, to kind of what their plan is and, and you know, wanting to wanting to limit you here at least at the beginning? Um, yeah, no, I think it's going really good so far, just um, getting back into it. Um, definitely, it's definitely nice to be able to help those younger guys be in their ear the whole time during team and stuff. Um, coaching them up, um, taking over more of a coaching role while I'm, I'm a little limited in practice right now. What can you say about that D-line as a whole, not going name by name, but just... You know, um, yeah, think about the whole group and what I, I, I love that group, man. Um, all, all the guys in that room. I mean, we're super, we're a super tight knit group. We have a lot of fun, um, but we also we work really hard together. Um, we're out, we're out there for each other. We're playing for each other. It's, um, it's, it's a really special group, and yeah, I love those guys. This is a kind of usual question, but what, what, what's the difference you see? You know, this first week or two of spring ball compared with a year ago. I mean, um, I just say the biggest difference. Um, it's not everything's new this this season. Everyone knows what to expect. Everyone knows um, what the expectations are, what the standards are, and um, so we're just rolling with that. When you uh, when you divide into those different competition teams during practice, <coughs> have you seen the guys maybe get excited about it or, or embrace those different challenges? Oh yeah, no. That's uh, the breaking up in those different uh, teams is pretty fun. You're playing with. Um, you're playing with a lot of different guys compared to who you'd normally be playing with if it was just like one or two um, groups going at once. So it's uh, it's a lot of fun. It it adds that competition element to it when um, a lot of the guys on the team we thrive on that competition aspect of it. It turns in turns practice from just being oh we're doing another team period to like all right let's go win this team period. Let's um, so it, it makes practice a lot. It makes it a lot more fun. Irrespective of what it does for your football career, um, how much did being a wrestler this last several months just enrich your college experience. Um, it made it, it, wrestling was such a blast. It was so much fun um, getting to know that, getting to know all the wrestling guys, getting to know just getting to more, be around more athletes um, in the athletic department was super, super cool. Um, I've built relationships over there that are are going to last a long time, and um, yeah, it was just it was so much fun. You haven't lost a wrestling match in a long time. I mean, was it hard to kind of go through that experience? Um, but knowing the level you were at was maybe one of the best. Yeah, exactly. Like, my mindset going into wrestling this year was um, it, had, it was a little different this year compared to, like, when I was wrestling in high school. Like, in high school, I was expected to win. I was expected to go out there and perform. Like, this was the first time in my career I didn't really feel – the pressure of like having to go out there and win like I wasn't supposed to win any of the matches that I won this year um, after taking that much time off and so um, changing my mind it's I mean it's never fun losing going out there and um, I wanted to win every match I had obviously but just talking with um, Travell and Manning and those guys they they kind of set the stage for me and I just ran with it I went out there um, didn't have any expectations for myself just was going out there every time competing doing my best um, so yeah, that's a top ten team in the country. So I mean, you've been part of a top ten team in the country for the last three months in wrestling. What did that? What did you learn about their culture and the way that they work and the way they succeed? Um, yeah, the way those guys succeed is they're just they just they're grinders. All of them. The best guys in the best guys in the room are their hardest workers, and that just trickles down throughout the whole team. Um, that the culture they have built over there is. 
Um, it's really a special culture, and it's uh, they're a really tight knit group. Um, those those ten guys that are starting are all really close, and it was just it was super fun to be a part of that.